So right now we have one oral TLP1 receptor agonist approved for use for treatment of type 2 diabetes, that's oral semaglutide. It's approved at a dose of 14 milligrams once daily. The OASIS-1 and Pioneer Plus trials tested higher doses of oral semaglutide up to doses of 50 milligrams for the treatment of uh, overweight and obesity in OASIS-1 and for the treatment of type 2 diabetes in Pioneer Plus. The target group for OASIS-1 was individuals with obesity as characterized by a body mass index above 30 or above 27 with weight-related comorbidities. The target group for Pioneer Plus was individuals with type 2 diabetes inadequately controlled on one to three other oral anti-diabetic agents whose A1C was still elevated at an 8 to 10.5% range. In Oasis-1, high-dose oral semaglutide at 50 milligrams once a day compared to placebo showed a remarkably effective weight-lowering effect at a mean difference of about 15%, with high numbers achieving at least 5, 10, 15, um, or more percent weight loss. In Pioneer Plus, the higher doses of oral semaglutide at 25 milligrams a day and 50 milligrams a day achieve superior glucose lowering compared to 14 milligrams a day and greater weight loss compared to 14 milligrams a day. What do these results mean for the future of obesity and diabetes treatment? It means that we'll have greater tools in the toolbox that target the underlying biology of both diabetes and obesity to support patient care and to support the goals that we are trying to achieve with our patients. What happens once these medications were stopped? Well, that wasn't tested in these particular trials, but in other studies, once medications are stopped, typically the biology starts coming back. 